Good morning. Today, we're going to be heading out there across the widest part of the Firth of Forth. It's a little road trip involving a trio of transportation types. We're starting off on a ferry, then we'll be heading on a bus and finally a train. It's also a bit of a triangle of travel, starting in Edinburgh, out here on the train to North Berwick, which I've already done, the ferry from North Berwick across to Anstruther. Then we're going to take the bus from Anstruther to Kirkcaldy and finally the train back to Edinburgh. And we're going to take in all the sights and sounds along the way. And Anstruther is very famous for its fish and chips. So I think we might be stopping off for a bite to eat there. I think this is going to be a really interesting trip. Hope you can join me. just after 8 a.m. here in North Berwick. I had to get the earliest train from Edinburgh to here in order to catch the ferry, but the ferry doesn't leave for another hour or so. So I think we've got time to head into the cobbled streets and ginnels and alleyways of North Berwick, see if we can find ourselves some breakfast. Actually, I'd be happy with just a coffee. Actually, it looks like I'm too early for the independent cafes. It's going to have to be a Costa coffee and a bacon bap. Oh, oh I needed that. Well, that filled a gap. Time to head to the harbour to catch our ferry to Anstruther. Pastel painted houses, one of the trademarks of East Lothian. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So what's on the horizon, mate? It's actually quite misty today. Normally from here, you can see Bass Rock in all its glory towering above the sea, but today it's completely shrouded in mist. I hope the mist clears before we head out over the Forth. At this time of year, North Berwick is usually packed with tourists and it will be later, but so early in the morning, it's really quite deserted and I kind of like it. Here's the harbour. So is it a gigantic ferry with bars and restaurants and thousands of passengers? Well, of course not, not out of North Berwick. You might remember this boat from an earlier vlog. Yeah, there's our ferry for today. It's the Sula 3, operated by Sula Boat Trips. Now, they're quite clever, actually. During the day, they're doing trips around Craigleith Island, trips around Bass Rock, trips out to the Isle of May. But early morning, they do a ferry across to Anstruther, and then at the end of the day, they do another ferry there and back. So it tops and tails the day for them quite nicely. Probably quite a shrewd business move, because apart from this, I can't think of any other way of getting across the fourth from here other than driving all the way around and going over the bridges or going on the train of course and it looks like it's quite a popular service loads of people waiting already Over the last few weeks, dolphins and basking sharks have been reported in quite large numbers here around North Berwick. So I'm hoping that as we head out over the Forth, we're going to get to see some of these fascinating aquatic creatures. And I think it's time to get on board. Crew 
member's called Vicky and she just interrupted her safety briefing because she thought she spotted the basking shark. So we're all looking now. A lot. Cheers. Well, the weather forecast for today was absolutely glorious sunshine with deep blue sky. Unfortunately, what we got instead was actually quite thick fog and lots of low clouds. And it was really quite cold out there on the 4th. So I'm really glad that I actually had my coat on today. We didn't see the basking shark, we didn't see any dolphins. In fact, unfortunately, we didn't see much at all. But it was a great bracing 45 minutes across the 4th and I feel refreshed and ready to explore Anstruther. But first of all, let's just bid farewell to Sula 3. It's on a very quick turnaround and they're just about to head back to North Berwick. Farewell to Sula 3. Hope you have a good trip back to North Berwick. Do you know, I've never been to Anstruther before. I'm quite excited about this. It's a massive harbour and you know what I'm like about harbours. So it looks like we've got two portions to the harbour here and Struther. That's where we docked just a few moments ago and there's a lighthouse, a lovely little lighthouse at the end of the pier there. Looking the other way, now that is the inner harbour. That's where all the yachts and the cruisers are docked and beyond we've got the seafront which is where I believe the famous fish and chip shops are. Shall we go and have a look? This is actually quite a big harbour, much bigger than I was expecting. Actually, it is the biggest harbour in Fife, so I'm told. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't this pretty? Harbour on one side of the pier, and over on the other side, look at this beach. And those pastel coloured houses there in the distance. The Reaper. Look at the masts on that. Okay, let's stroll along the seafront and see what we can find. Starting here at those gorgeous pastel houses and heading towards the chip shops. Starting off with the wee chippy. 
I've definitely heard of this one, it's quite famous. And it looks like it's won loads of awards as well. Winner, winner, fish and chip dinner. Here's another one, fish and chips on the waterfront. It's only just past 11 a.m. so the fish and chip shops aren't open yet. Cafes are, but we'll have to wait a little bit longer for our fish and chips. Scoop! And this is the famous one that you might have seen in other vlogs. Well, it looks like the answer of the fish bar has also won loads and loads of awards. But purely on looks alone, and it really is on looks alone, I'm drawn to the wee chippy. Do you think that's the one we should try? This is a charity Scotty dog. Might be the biggest Scotty dog I've ever seen. And in addition to the fish and chip shops, there's also a plethora of pubs to quaff a pint in. There's even a museum, the Scottish Fisheries Museum. Now, Anstruther's one of those places where you can pronounce the town name in different ways. Anstruther is its Sunday name. It's the English pronunciation. If you're a local, and we're in Scotland after all, a lot of people call it Ainster. Ainster, that's the Scots pronunciation of Anstruther. Let's take a walk up the other pier of the harbour. Do you know the sun is trying its hardest to break through those clouds, but I don't think it's going to succeed. And do you know, the BBC weather app is still showing sunny, blazing sun all day. How could they get it so wrong? The harbour mouth here at Anstruther and that beautiful little lighthouse. And out to sea, <laughs> absolutely nothing but cloud and mist. Over there is East Lothian, that's where we've come from and that's where we're going to try and head back to by bus and by train. But first, I wonder whether those chip shops are open. Ah, OK, if you want to sit outside at the wee chip, you've got to go to the takeaway entrance, get a takeaway and then sit outside. Well, cheers. I was ready for a drink. Mmm, that's nice. OK, fish and chips from the famous wee chippy here in Anstruther. Let's have a look. Good-looking chips. Mm. Mm. Thumbs up from me. Actually, when it comes to the fish, these forks are a little bit thickly, aren't they? Fingers are best. Mrs. E might be wincing a bit watching this. To be honest, we're not really major fish people, but I thought, I'm in Anstruther. You can't not have fish in Anstruther. <laughs> and it's worth it, just for the batter. Decent fish and chips there from the wee chippy in Anstruther. I'm going to give that a recommended on the Rog Vlog food scale. That means that if you're in Anstruther, do please try it out, it's worth it. But I wouldn't come all the way to Anstruther just to go to that fish and chip restaurant. And the plan for our journey back to Edinburgh is relatively simple. We're going to catch a bus here from Anstruther and we're going to get that bus to Kirkcaldy. Once we get to Kirkcaldy, we're swapping to the train for the remainder of the journey to Edinburgh. Now, we could have travelled all the way to Edinburgh on the same bus, but it would have taken about two and three quarter hours. And I just wanted the variety, so we're going to change at Kirkcaldy and get on the train for the last part of our journey. Or is it a stagecoach coach? I don't know. But the seats are really quite comfy, well padded, and not bad leg room actually for an hour and a half's journey. The picture windows are absolutely gigantic, so the views outside are perfect. 
perfect, but because the sun is now burning through the clouds, finally, it's like we're in a greenhouse on wheels. The air condition isn't working, so I'm really, really hot. And apart from that, there's a lot to see out the windows. Something to beware of, the single fare between Anstruther and Kokodi was £5.50, but that's the cash price. I tried to buy the cheap fare on the Stagecoach app, and the cheapest it would let me buy was the £11 day fare to travel anywhere. I couldn't work out how to get that £5.50 fare, and I didn't have cash to give to the driver, and it was too late to go to the cash point, so something to watch out for if you're travelling on Stagecoach coaches. Thanks a lot. My goodness, that was less stagecoach and more like so on a coach. Hats off to the driver though, she did stop and she did try to open up the skylights to make it a little bit cooler. And she also had a wrestling match with that huge truck as we came into Kokodi. Okay, let's go and find Kokodi Railway Station and let's head back to Edinburgh. I think it was the right decision to get onto the train here. Correct decision, but bad timing. There's just about an hour to go until the next train back into Edinburgh. So we're down here on the Esplanade, actually down on the beach at Kokodi, and it's beautiful to get that cool sea breeze after being on that saunerific bus. And you know, even though the sun has finally come out, there's still all that ha, the mist over the Forth. Can't see anything of Edinburgh at all. Just shadows of ships on the horizon. Last leg of the journey and the joys of Scott Rail air conditioning. It's lovely and cool on this train. A good old standard class 170 Turbo Star. You can't beat these, they're old but comfy. <laughs> Just about to go over the fourth rail bridge. We're back with my usual two station hop back to Wallyford to get home. And as you can see, the sun has finally burnt off the clouds. It's glorious. The sky's as blue as the BBC app has been promising us all day. I've got two questions for you. First of all, which of the modes of transport we've experienced today did you enjoy the most? Personally, I loved the boat across from North Berwick to Anstruther. It was so bracing. Okay, it was misty. It was a little bit chilly out there on the water, but it was absolutely gorgeous. The low point was that coach ride from Anstruther to Kirkcaldy. Now, 
the coach itself was really comfortable. The seats were fine, but it was like being in a greenhouse on wheels, a sauna on wheels. It was really, really uncomfortable. And of course, that final train going back to Edinburgh was just your typical comfortable air-conditioned Turbo Star Class 170. Loved it. Second question, would you have gone all the way to Anstruther like I did today just to have fish and chips at the Wee Chippy or indeed any of those three chip shops in Anstruther? I have to say, I was slightly disappointed. Yes, if you're there, definitely go and try the fish and chips, but I wouldn't actually go all the way just to try the fish and chips from one of those fish and chips shops. But on the whole, what a great day. Ferry, bus and train. A little bit of a road trip, a little bit of an adventure. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rog Vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until the next one, remember, there's always something to see and to eat. So get out there and find it.